sweet. I knew I didn't think he went very far. an old sort of a throwback hunt from probably five or six years ago probably one of the one of the first five self film bucks I've, I filmed by myself oh uh, you know one thing I want to relate that to is uh, going out of state y'all that was a hunt from years ago that uh, you know all we were sort of looking or I was looking at is hey get the kill the kills the meat of the shot well you got to have a storyline to go with it so it's been a learning process from from our first videos to now of, you know, our goal was always to make the next one better. I want to relate that to hunting out of state, y'all. First time you go out of state, it's a learning process for you. You've never been, you've never done it. Uh, I've had so many people comment on the show that I really love. I love your comments because I, I answer every one of them. I read every one of them. Uh, <clears throat> but they've commented, hey, these shows or videos that give us confidence, give confidence to go do some of this. You know that makes me feel good because that's that's one of my my side of the of the show is I want to encourage people to go do this. I want I want to get them out of their comfort zone and go do it. Seen other comments where guys said, "Hey, had a buddy. We plan hunts. We plan hunts, and it's always something that's fell through at the last minute. We couldn't go. So I'm going by myself this year. You know I'm here to encourage you. I love hunting by myself." You can go and you don't have to have near as big a block of ground to hunt. If you tag out and you still got time before you got to be home, hey, go hunt another state that's over the counter. You know, go buy a tag somewhere else. Or if you find this piece of ground's not good and your buddy may have found him a good spot and he won't stay there, you can go and be moved. You, you can be mobile. So, uh, like I said, I really appreciate all the comments, y'all. And like I said, we've got a good year coming this year. Uh, draw real well. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what 2022 is going to hold. You know, there's no guarantees in none of these hunts, but we draw some good tags and, you know, hope, hopefully we do good, you know. So stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet and you really like this type of content, hey, subscribe. Hey, hit that notification if you want it as soon as we put them out where they come up, y'all. Because that's one thing it really helps us. We're learning a lot about YouTube. You know, there's, you know, it took us six months to really ever figure out how to get views. You know, we think, well, we'll put good content up. But that don't mean it's going to get in front of people. It really helps when we put shows up. Is hey, y'all like and y'all comment. Just just make a comment. Hey, because I'm going to read it. Because oh. <clears throat> that helps us. The more you do of that, the more people that have put that show in front of. So we're really learning that. And we're starting to really get a good following. And it's helping us. You know, And that's why I want to help y'all back. Is get y'all into some of these hunts, y'all. So, hey, good luck this year, y'all. If you got hunts planned out west, hey, or anywhere, out of state. Hey, good luck. Hope you kill a big one. Hey, go to our Facebook page, Do It Self Hunter. Join it. It's it's there for where you can post. Just say like you go out of state and you kill a big one. Post your picture and tell us a little bit of, about it. That's that's what it's for. It's, it, we go in there and post some, but it's it's more for y'all. It's more for the Do It Self. If you're a Do It Self Hunter and you're very successful in what you do or you're successful every once in a while, hey, go in there and post. Show your picture. Other folks want to see it too. You know, I even look. I even like to go in there and look and see what other folks has done. So, hey, hope hope you have good luck this year. See you next time.